Netflix beat its own gloomy guidance for second quarter subscriber editions, but still lost nearly 1 million subscribers, half what it predicted after a disastrous Q1 report led to major corporate changes. The company said it expected a return to growth in subscriber roles in its third quarter. Share prices, which had been trending upward the past week, jumped sharply both before and after market close today, up about $26 to $215 in the first hour after the earnings were released. At their peak last November, share prices topped $680. It's tough in some ways, losing a million, subscribers, and calling it success, co-CEO Reed Hastings said in a subsequent earnings call. But really, we're set up really well for the next year. The good news for the world's biggest streaming service is that revenues jumped substantially, a net 9% thanks in part to subscription price increases in the United States and some other markets. The big jump in revenues came despite a $339 million negative impact from currency exchange issues caused by the strong U.S. dollar. Netflix is also on target to generate about $1 billion in free cash flow for the year, a closely watched Wall Street metric of the company's financial health.